Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my desk here. Thank you so much if you're watching. Today I figure we do something a little different. I don't usually do uh, video game stuff in my channel. Matter of fact, I never usually do. I think I only have one video uh, where I got a PlayStation 5, uh, I think about a year ago when they were hard to get. Uh, this time I thought I, I'd do a quick video on uh, this controller here. This is the Xbox Starfield controller now. Uh, I don't know much about this game. In all honesty, I didn't even know it was a thing until recently. Uh, have, uh, obviously, I do know that it's a new uh, Microsoft Xbox, uh, I think it's a Bethesda game. Um, but I won't be getting the game. But when I saw this controller uh, recently, I was like, man, that design, it's pretty, pretty cool uh, looking. So uh, because I have a couple of other um, Xbox controllers and I'm a bit of a collector myself, uh, you know, obviously you can tell that based on all my videos, uh, I figure, man, I have to get this. I will be using this, uh, but just want to sort of show it off. Uh, really nice uh, blue box, I guess. This is supposed to be the whole Starfield uh, theme. And then obviously you guys can see the controller there on the side here, just highlighting some of the gold D-pad, I guess, and the uh, thumbsticks. And then right here, uh, also showing the front and back, uh, which is really cool because I didn't realize that the back had a whole different uh, color in this, uh, I guess, kind of salmon or, or, or pink color. So let me open this up. I haven't even opened it uh, quite yet. I actually just got this uh, about a day ago. I purchased it from Best Buy uh, directly and it showed up uh, pretty quickly. And man, this thing is really, really nice. Uh, what's cool is, you guys can probably see it, when you open the box, it says, for all into the Starfield. So I don't think they've uh, skimped here on the packaging. That's uh, really cool. I don't keep packaging anymore. I used to keep boxes, but because of lack of room, uh, unfortunately, the box is going to go in the trash. But it is a really nice uh, package nonetheless. Batteries, because all Xbox controllers use batteries, which I, I don't mind. They're e easily enough replaceable once they run out. But just to show you the packaging, again, uh, some really nice detailing here in the box. Uh, back here, you probably just, yeah, just get like instructions and stuff. So if you have an Xbox controller or any controller, you've seen those before. And I'm not sure there's anything back here. Um, doesn't look like it, so... I wouldn't mess with it, but it's a nice box nonetheless. So we'll put that aside for now. And of course, the main topic of this video is this awesome controller, which already, um, based on first-hand looks, looks really, really awesome. The texture here, it's kind of soft, almost it's matte. So that's that's great that it's like, because it probably helps with the grip. Uh, I also love that they have grip here. And grip here text and it's nice uh, gray uh, it, the whites uh, kind of chalky color milky I guess but it's it's a really nice uh, put together white um, the d-pad um, obviously this is plastic but it's supposed to I guess look kind of bronze or pewter like but it has a good feel uh, the thumbsticks, nice gray, which complements really well with the white, and then also because the line work around the controller um, is gray, so it matches up really well. Uh, you wouldn't think that this uh, red, orange, yellow, and blue would look good with all this white, but it does. It complements it really well. And then the X here is it has got like some. The X is white, and then it's like frosted gray, kind of. So that's really cool. Here you have, uh, you know, your buttons, which are all uh, white with some uh, the gray, gray lettering. And then the thumbstick is very similar. I love the underneath color, which is like a almost like a dark uh, red, like crimson red. So that's really cool. And again, I guess going with the Starfield theme, which is, as I said, I know nothing about this game. I probably won't be getting the game because um, it's not doesn't seem like something I would be into. But this controller <laughs> is just awesome, awesome looking. Love the text here. Lock, exit, TGT mode, and all that, and then the scan, scan mode. So, and these are your, obviously, your shoulder buttons. Triggers, which is really cool, plastic triggers, uh, but uh, they're see-through. So, it looks like you'll be able to see when you are pushing in, and then the motors, I guess, for the rumble. And then back here, uh, I guess it's a little bit of 
dust from the packaging property of constellation uh, you know obviously the battery compartment but this color is really nice you wouldn't think that all these different colors would would go well together but they, they really do they complement each other really well and then the grips of course back here these are awesome grips uh, you have your uh, lighter gray darker gray um, and you know obviously with the red which actually does look really nice and I do like this stuff back here uh, obviously battery compartment and when you open the door for all into the star field so that's really cool they added all these uh, little uh, things for folks to look for uh, but overall uh, controller looks great and that's the main reason why I bought it I, I uh, I'm trying to stop on collecting controllers because obviously I, you should mainly buy these if you need them, right? If they break or something, but um, I just couldn't pass up this design. It's, it's really, really cool. It's really nice. Um, all the colors flow well together. Uh, my only concern, I guess, because I will be using this, is from usage. I'm hoping that this text kind of holds up, obviously, with the oils in your hands. And, um, you know, you, you, I don't know how... Um, long this text will last or you know this design on on the controller if you know from the grease and the oils are in your hands it's just going to start fading and start looking kind of uh bad and and sort of faded out uh, but we'll see hopefully not i can tell you it feels really nice um, i have a couple of xbox controllers actually that i was going to show in the video uh the triggers immediately uh feel uh really nice so I would definitely say if you are a fan of controllers in general and you, you know, you like collecting the different designs, this is a good option. Uh, my other point of comparison would be this one. This is, a, again, an Xbox controller uh, in blue. So you guys could see sort of like the differences there. Uh, the reason why I say that this Starfield controller feels better um, is the triggers. So on mine, this uh, left trigger keeps sticking. And then it pops up. I know I think that's an issue that a lot of Xbox controllers sort of have. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that at least this one feels way, way better uh, than this does. I know there's a fix for it. I still haven't gotten a chance. But this is, I guess, sort of what you would call my um, daily driver. Uh, that's what I use. I love the color blue. Uh, and then I have a couple other controllers here. Uh, this one, which I love. Again, I bought this just based on the design. I don't even remember... <laughs> Uh, what game this is for I know it ties into in a specific game maybe someone in the comments can let me know but I just love the dark uh, navy blue design and then these things and the grips I do use this one not as much as I would like to and it's held up pretty well of course I always try to make sure my hands are clean when I touch my controllers and not to eat anything but this one's hold up uh, pretty well uh, as far as you know these designs on the on the grips here um, but just want to show that there. So as you guys can see, I have way too many controllers. This is only three. I actually was looking for one more that I could not find in my collection. Um, but the other one that I really love, it's this one. I initially bought this, I believe, for my Xbox uh, One X. Whereas all these three I bought specifically for my Series X, or I believe at least those two. Uh, but this one's really nice. I believe this is a Titan. This came out with Titanfall. Um, and I, I do have that game. I enjoyed it. Uh, the second one anyway. Uh, but this design, man, like this is really, really cool. And that's one of the main reasons why I thought to get the Starfield one. It kind of gave me the same feeling as this one. And to this day, I think this is probably one of the cooler designs um, for me anyway, in my opinion. And you guys could see there, the you know the different designs there. And this one's hold up pretty well. I did use this one for a while. This one's now retired, and it's sort of sitting there as a nice display piece. But um, while I used it, I had no issues. And again, I none of these designs or anything kind of rubbed off or, ca or came off from from use from me gripping it like this all the time. So um, I'm hoping that the Starfield controller here sort of holds up because, as, as I said, I will be using it. And, and then just lastly, you know, I do have a couple others. Um, this is the one that came in with my Xbox One X. If you guys can see there, it says Project Scorpio. And this is the standard one that came in with my Series um, X. So, yeah, a lot of controllers here. And then lastly, uh, here's the Elite. This is a version one. Uh, I kind of regret buying this one. 
Uh, it's not a bad controller, I don't think, by any means. It was a lot of money, and it had things like being these things are removable. Uh, but in all honesty, I barely got any use of this. Uh, you don't need a pro controller. I mean, the elite, an elite controller, in all honesty. Uh, but anyway, what this video was about, what this uh, bad boy here, the Starfield controller, I would say it's awesome. The sign fits in great, and it feels really well. So we'll see how it holds up. Just want to show uh, everyone a video for anyone out there that may be interested. Thank you so much for watching. If I missed anything, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, but again, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you next time.